Hello Opals users. In this short tutorial I will be covering the importing and cataloging of Opals ebooks from our servers. You should notice a purple tab on your Opal site, Opals ebook tab. If you do not see this tab, please email or call our tech support and we can have the tab in the module activated at your library site. There is no charge for this activation, nor is there a charge for the Opals ebooks offered. We have over 1,600 that cover elementary, middle, and high school, as well as varied fiction and other types of reports. We add to this database fairly frequently. This tutorial will cover the import functionality. The import functionality goes directly to our servers where you will find these 600, 1,600 items. The upload functionality is used for resources such as Project Gutenberg, feed books and other resources that offer EPUBs that you can add to your library. This will be covered in a different tutorial. To start things off, it's always best to set up a barcode range for the ebooks. Please note that you will not have an e a book to put the barcode on as their ebooks, but all records in Opals need to have a barcode. So we will set up a range and it will automatically assign a barcode every time you catalog an ebook therefore you will not have to think of what the next number will be. To set up the range I'm going to Administration, Reports and Tools. When the Tools menu comes up, page down a little bit and you will see the barcode range assignment and tables. What I'm going to input here you can put in exactly the same at your library and there would, would not be any conflict. I'm going to put in Opals and public domain ebooks. So I know exactly what this range covers. My prefix will be EBK. You can of course choose your own prefix but EBK seems to work E for the ebook and BK for book. My range will be 0001 through I'm going to choose 5000. You can choose more but this will give us a range of 5000 barcodes to use. The barcode length comes from adding the three, the characters in the prefix, which is three characters, and four characters of the number, so the barcode length is seven. Once you've filled this in, simply click Add New, and in a moment when the screen refreshes, the barcode range assignment is set up for your ebooks, and here they are. You can see that we have 5,000 total barcodes to use. We haven't used any as yet and there's 5,000 available. We have set up our barcode range for the ebooks and now we'll import and catalog our first ebook. Going to the Opals ebook tab, click Import. When the screen refreshes and comes up, you'll want to choose or do your search below the ebook colon colon import note here on the left. If you search up in the top area by keyword, that will search your catalog. So if you're looking for the books from our Opal servers, please search below ebook colon colon import. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type high for high school. In a moment, the screen will populate with items from the ebook collection on our servers. I'm going to add common sense composition. I could click either the title or the cover of the book to bring up the record and start the process. I will click the title. If you see a blank screen, there's nothing wrong. Just please move your cursor up and you'll reveal the metadata and you'll have a few fields to fill in right here. This is a free book. Anything you use in the import functionality is always free and you can type in opals. The first time you do this in the day, you might have to type the whole name Opals out, but as you continue to catalog, this will be filled in once you put an O in, you can choose Opals. The PO number does not need to be filled in. The number of simultaneous views does not need to be filled in, nor does the date purchased. The only thing you need for importing from our servers is to mark the free button and type in Opals. Then click Save. In a moment, the screen will refresh and we will see the metadata, the cover on the left, the title, and a 520, a short summary note. 
I always recommend copying the title in the event that it does not come up when we do our Z import. We will do a Z import and we will choose Opal's eBook databases. Sometimes they don't come right up as all the ISBNs are not included in the data as yet. That's why I copy the title. I'm clicking Z import and when the screen refreshes you will see that it starts at the school's union or wherever uh, the your resources happen to be. We do not use that for the ebooks. What you will do is you will choose the teen ebook database and in this case I, already, I also have the middle school readers ebook database in the event I'd like to add middle school books as well. So for the book that I'm using, the Common Sense Composition, I will choose the teen ebook database and I am going to paste in the title Common Sense Composition click the search button and in a moment you'll see here is the record on the far left click the title which is hyperlinked to the bib and holding record there's the image for the book common sense composition here's the bibliographic ie the mark record you're welcome to add more access points or edit accordingly you'll see there's a 505 listing all the chapters in the book and as we page down there's a nice summary note there's a genre note for electronic books and there's some 690s writing term papers book reviews etc if you'd like you can always add more access points this record looks fine I'm going to go back to the top go to the holding record and you'll notice that any books that come from our servers have ebook as a prefix you can change that and use another prefix of your choosing but this is what we've decided to use and it seems to work for many libraries we also see that this is an 808 Dewey classification and there's the cutter of the first three letters of the author's last name perhaps in your library you capitalize the cutter so you can simply cursor over it and capitalize all the letters to conform to your library's cataloging parameters finally we need to add a barcode. Going up to the 852P, click in the white area and the barcode selector comes up. The first time you do this in the day, you will have to click the down arrow and choose Opals in Public Domain eBooks. You'll see that it'll assign the first number 0001 as this is our first book being cataloged. Press OK. The barcode is in, the prefix, the Dewey number, the cutter all is good I'm going to click Save I will go back up to the Opal's ebook tab the purple tab and click import once again I'm going to search for another item and catalog it once again remember to do all your searching for ebooks below the ebook colon colon import I'm going to go to M-I-D-D-L-E I'm going to the middle school type of textbooks, clicking search. All I had to do is type in middle. In a moment, the screen will populate with textbooks and other types of books from the middle school. I'm going to add the CK12 Earth Science for Middle School. I'll click the title. The screen is blank. Just remember to push your cursor up a bit, and you'll see the record. I'm going to put a check mark in the free bot button and type in an O and choose Opals. Remember that you do not need a PO number, you do not need number of simultaneous views, nor do you need the date purchased. Please also note that there are no limitations to views of, of Opals ebooks, so if a hundred students or a hundred users would like to read the book at the same time, that is not a problem. I will click Save, and in a moment the metadata will come up. Here we have the cover of the book, the title, a summary. I'm going to copy the title. Oftentimes they will come up automatically, but I like to copy the title. I think it's a good practice. I'm going to click Z Import. I'm going to paste in the title as the book didn't come up automatically. Oh, I chose the wrong database. I'm going to choose the middle school re readers 
as this is a middle school book. I take a mistake and turn it into a teaching moment in this video. So here we are. We have CK Earth Science for Middle School, the Teacher's Edition for Middle School, the workbook. And I'm choosing the CK-12 Earth Science for Middle School. You'll note that there's a workbook for the students and a teacher's edition, so it's always a good idea if you see these to catalog all three. The first one will be Earth Science for Middle School, the basic book. Clicking the hyperlinked title will bring up the bib record and the holding. Once again, you're welcome to look through the bib record and do any additions or any editing you'd like. Again, there's the chapters note. If we go down, we will see a 520 uh, for your summary note. You can add to that if you like, and a 690 Earth Sciences Textbook Middle School. You're welcome to add additional access points, subject headings, and the like. I'm going to go back up to the holding. I'm going to click the holding portion. And once again, we see the ebook prefix, we see a Dewey number, and we see the cutter. I'm going to change the cutter to all caps. And finally, I'm going to go and put one more barcode on there, another barcode, excuse me. Uh, the first barcode in succession, the first book we put was EBK001. Now we have two. You don't have to think. It assigns the numbers accordingly. Press OK. I'm going to save this item, close, and I'll catalog one more for good measure. I'm going up to the Opal's eBook. I'm going to import. Please also note that if you've cataloged something and you do another search, the books that you've cataloged from our servers, it will know that you've cataloged. So the Opal's Middle School Earth Science Workbook will not come up this time as I've already cataloged it. But I will see the, uh, I'm sorry, the Opal's textbook won't come up, but the workbook and the teacher's edition will. So there's the Earth Science for Middle School workbook. We've already cataloged the Earth Science for Middle School, and now I'll add the workbook. I'll click the title. I go push my cursor up to the top. Mark the free button. Type in OPALS. No PO number, no number of simultaneous views, and no date purchase. Clicking Save. The screen will refresh with the metadata. You'll see the cover on the left, the summary note, and the title of the book. As noted, I always like to copy the title. Copy. Now I'll click Z Import. This time it should default to the Middle School Reader's Database. So I'm just going to t paste in the title, Middle School Workbook, or Science. And there is the title. I'll click the hyperlinked title which will bring up again the bib record and the holding. Just remember you can always edit the bib record for the needs of your library. I'm going to miss the bib record this time and not bother with it and go directly to the holding record. And there's ebook. There's the 550 Dewey number. I'll change the cutter to conform to our library as all caps. And finally I'll put a barcode in by clicking that it knows I've been here before, the Opals in Public Domain eBooks. The next number available is 003, OK, and I'll save. This time I'm going to take us back to the home page and we will see in our new items section a few of the eBooks that we've added in this session. Here we are. We see the CK-12 Earth Science for Middle School Workbook and the Earth Science for Middle School and Common Sense Composition. Your readers, your users can click Preview or they can click Read right from the New Items screen. These are not downloadable to Kindles. Rather, they are browser-driven eBooks. So if I click the Read button, it opens up a new tab and the book is revealed. And in just a moment, you'll see the cover of the book. I'm not sure in the recording if you'll see the little gray line. We are going to make it a little darker. But going to the top right corner of the book, I can click the page, top right corner page, and move along and begin reading the book. There I have 
just paging through showing you the very pages of the book and how to move through it. I'll close this browser and that brings us back to the home page where I'm seeing the books that we just added. So in closing just remember that this tutorial is for the import functionality that goes directly to Opal servers and we set up a barcode range for these ebooks by going to admin tools and the barcode range assignment and tables highly recommended to have this set up before you start cataloging you will see now that we have t total barcodes of 5000 we've used three and we have 4997 left if you need further instruction on the barcode range assignment and table please see our YouTube channel where there's a full video just on that in addition if you'd like any information on Z import there's also a video on the YouTube channel that addresses Z import functionality. Thank you very much and good luck cataloging your ebooks.